Hey y'all, in today's video, I'm going to be sharing some kid lunchbox ideas. I'm packing up lunch for my kids to take to school. My daughter is nine and my son is seven, just for reference. And here I am priming their thermoses, which is key to ensuring that their lunch will be hot when they go to eat it. And all that means is I fill up their thermoses with boiling hot water. I seal them off tightly and I just let those sit for anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes before adding in the hot food. So on this this day I'm gonna be cooking them some macaroni and tomato this is something that I was raised on and my parents still make it to this day and my kids really love it so I figured I would try it out in their school lunch so all it is is two ingredients plus salt very simple I just bring a pot of water to a bowl I salt it well and I add in the macaroni noodles I did about a half a box but that's honestly a bit too much I had no business trying to measure out pasta that early in the morning we just like it to be on the soupy side but my kids didn't mind, so it's all good. Um, I just cook the pasta until it's a couple minutes shy of being al dente, drain it off, add it back to the pot, and I add in my tomato juice. Now, this tomato juice was given to us by a friend. She makes it with her homegrown tomatoes. It's always super good, but if I didn't have that, any store-bought tomato juice is fine. I add in some salt and pepper, bring that up to a bowl, and then I just simmer it for like maybe 10 minutes just until the pasta's done and it thickens up a bit. So now that it's done, I just drained off that water from the thermoses. I add this little canning funnel on top. You can get these at pretty much any store in the canning section. Um, and it's super cheap. It just makes it a mess-free experience. And I'm just getting those filled to the top. Um, these are the only thermoses that my kids have. They've had this all throughout school. And they love any time that they get brought out. My son's is from Amazon. And I got my daughter's at Target. Um, I've had them for a while, so I don't know if they still make it, but if they do, I will link them. So I'm also packing them some fresh strawberries, and I always have a big pack of these little mini cups with the lids at home. They are perfect for lunches. I use them all the time for the kids and my husband. And I'm going to be filling those with some of this Philadelphia no-bake cheesecake mix. I have been bragging about this stuff for a while now. It's one of our favorite things. And I had some left over from a recipe. So I figured I would send some to school with my kids. And it would be a perfect little dip with the strawberries. And the kids really love that. That was a huge hit. Especially my son. He said that he ended up sharing it with a friend because... His friend loves fruit dip. That's what he said. And he said that I need to pack two of those next time. So um, I did not have any Capri Suns this day. I was out. I needed to go to the store. So I just pulled out these little good to grow containers that I reuse. And I just made them up a little flavored water. This is the drink mix that I use. It's the strawberry pineapple dough mix. And these are really good. They are dye free. And they taste really good. My kids really like them. So I'm just splitting that between both kiddos and you know I make sure to always give them a little speech before they go to school to not throw those away be sure to bring them home and they're good about doing that and here I'm just showing y'all that these are really leak proof which is why I love them so much and why I like to reuse them so now I'm just going to get this all packed up so also this day for whatever reason all of their ice packs were not in the freezer um, so they were not frozen so I just use a little divider piece that these Pottery Barn lunch boxes come with that middle piece um, is frozen it's like a little mini ice pack that just connects to the little velcro pieces and you know I gave them each a napkin I figured you know that pasta could get a little messy I gave them each a spoon and then as you can see everything fit nicely in there so they are ready for school and each day I do send them with a water bottle that they can sit on their desk and sip on throughout the day. They can also refill it. Boston's is from Pottery Barn. Riley has one from Pottery Barn as well that's really similar but she prefers the bigger water bottle so hers is from Walmart. So fast forward to the end of the day. I know a lot of y'all like to see what they actually end up eating. Boston drank all of his drink. He ate all of the strawberries and dip and all of the macaroni and tomato. He said that he really loved it and then same thing with Riley um, drank all of her juice just a little bit of that cheesecake mixture left and she too ate all of her macaroni and tomatoes so big hit 
This next lunch is very simple. It is perfect if you are running late and you just need to throw something together quick. So these are some croissants that I bought at Costco, but you can get these at pretty much any grocery store. I've bought them from Kroger, Walmart. They're all delicious. And for Riley, I'm going to give her some ham. I just rolled it up. I got that at a local deli. It's just some Virginia ham. And I put a slice of sharp cheddar cheese on it. So she's got a ham and cheese croissant and my son is just taking a cheese croissant. I cannot get him to try like a deli meat sandwich. He just won't try it, but it's okay. I will just modify it and he loves a cheese croissant. Couldn't get any easier than that. So for Riley, I'm going to give her a little bag of these Flavor Blasted Goldfish. She loves those. My son does not. He likes the colored goldfish, so I gave him some of those. And then I'm going to give them both some of this unsweetened applesauce. I just get the Great Value brand, and I've had it in my fridge. I needed to use it anyways, but I just think it's a great option. Not only do they like it, I just think it's good if you're like low on fruit or if your fruit's looking a little wonky. It's great to add to lunch boxes. So here's the little overview. I think that it is pretty well balanced in my opinion. And then I'm gonna pack it on up. The ice packs are back. I put those up top in the little netted um, zipper section. And then I have these little softball napkins left over from Riley's birthday. She is a sports loving girl. So I have a bunch of those to use up. And I gave them spoons for their apple sauces, and then the Capri Suns are back. So here we are after I picked them up from school. Let's see how Boston did. He did not drink his juice. He said that he drank one of the milks from school. So no biggie. I just put that back in the fridge, and then he ate everything. Now let's go and see what Miss Riley ate. Um, as you can see, she ate everything as well. Next up, I'm going to be making them a little mini non bread pizza. We love these non breads. They are great for so many different things, but especially pizza, cold or hot. You do have to use them quick though because they mold pretty quickly, but they're great for freezing. I've done that many times. So I just added some pizza sauce to those. I'm just taking the back of the spoon to spread that into an even thin layer. I was out of mozzarella cheese, so I'm just going for this quesadilla cheese, and it worked really well with the pizzas. The cheese melted really nicely, even a little bit better than what mozzarella would. And then for Riley, I am going to give her some pepperoni. Boston's hit or miss with pepperonis. He does eat it pretty often, but this day he did request just a cheese pizza. I baked those at 425 for eight minutes and they fit perfectly in these boxes. And this box isn't going to keep it hot, but it shouldn't be like ice cold. It should be more like room temperature than anything. But my kids love like leftover cold pizza. So I knew that wouldn't be an issue with them. I'm also giving them some strawberry yogurt covered pretzels. I bought those at Costco and they are really good. I'm also going to give them each some purple grapes, and I'm just using my little grape cutter. I've had that for a while. I can link it if you're interested. It just quarters the grape since, you know, grapes are a choking hazard. I know that my kids are older, and it's probably not necessary anymore, but it's just kind of like a habit that I'm not ready to break, and I worry about enough when they go to school. I'm not going to worry about grapes. They're getting their usual Capri Sun. The Fruit Punch flavor is their favorite. first thing that both kids said to me when I picked them up from school is that they loved the pizza and I've got to do it again. So Riley ate everything and Boston just had a few grapes left and he didn't eat many of the pretzels, but that's okay. Next up, I'm going to be sending the kids a Nutella and banana sandwich. I'm not sure if I made this for them before. Maybe I have. If I have, it's been a long time. I'm sure I've done variations of it, though. My kids love Nutella. They are both currently on a peanut butter strike. I'm sure it won't last long. Typically, they love peanut butter, so I'm not really sure what's going on there, but it's okay. But that is why I'm just kind of looking at alternatives, so... We're going with the Nutella, and I'm just taking a ripe banana, and I'm just equally splitting that between the kiddos, and once I get it all sliced up, I will go back around and kind of rearrange it better to cover, you know, 
the whole slice of bread and make it flat. I also think this would be really amazing with sliced strawberries or you could even do a combination of the bananas and strawberries. I definitely want to try that soon. But now I'm just getting the tops put on. This should help prevent those bananas from like turning brown. Although I am going to cut it diagonally. My kids really like their sandwiches like this to be in triangles. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And plus it fits in these little boxes better doing it that way. These are just some um, boxes that I pick up at Walmart. I'm pretty sure I got them for like $3, something like that. Really cheap and it's just perfect for the kids. I also came across these dull mango fruit cups. I've never seen those in stores. So that's a new item for the kids. So I was really curious how they would like them. I originally thought I could put it in that top section, but it didn't fit, but it's okay. I can just put it on the side, but I am going to give them both a little bag of these pretzel goldfish. I thought that would go really good with the sandwiches. And my kids have been loving that Mario Kart design on the juices. They swear it tastes better, even though it's the same. And that one fruit cup, up, looks kind of fizzy that's just because I dropped it but thankfully it didn't like open up and leak anything like that so also I have spent some time practicing with the kids on opening like fruit cups because I know they are hard to open without the juice spilling everywhere I as an adult have problems with that but they're pretty good at it. I just, I don't like the idea of, you know, someone having to clean up their mess. So anyways, here we are at the end of the day. Um, this was a big hit with both kiddos, thankfully. I was really surprised with the mango cups. I wasn't too sure how they were going to like those, but they really did. So that's something new we can add. I finally got my hand on these Just Bear Chicken Nuggets. This is my first time purchasing them. The first time that my kids are going to try them. I have heard nothing but amazing things about how good those are. I got that big bag at Costco. I've also seen them at Kroger. I'm not sure about Walmart. I'll have to check. But... I did go ahead and prime my thermoses, so I just went and dumped out that water, and then I'm going to go in with a paper towel, and I'm just going to wipe it down really good. I don't want any, like, leftover water sitting in there to get on the nuggets. I know that a lot of people take, like, a clean, folded-up paper towel and put it in the bottom before putting in, like, a dry type of food, like chicken nuggets. I do do that sometimes, but I guess I just kind of forgot this morning. Thankfully, the kids did not mind. They didn't mention them being soggy or anything like that. I did go ahead and bake those chicken nuggets in the oven. You can also do them in the air fryer, but mine needed to be washed, so I just went the oven route. And these are supposed to be pretty comparable to the Chick-fil-A nuggets. They definitely look a lot like it. My kids love the Chick-fil-A nuggets. I did not personally try them myself because the few that were left over, the kids like snatched up for um, before they went to school and they were just so happy with these. They said that these are their new favorite chicken nuggets so I'm really glad to have those on hand so now I'm going to get it packed on up I'm also going to give them each a bag of these Cheez-Its they always love their Cheez-Its and I went ahead and gave them each a mandarin orange I did go ahead and peel it I didn't even worry about like separating it into individual little segments because it was just kind of tearing apart and being all weird so I just did it in like three big chunks of course they got their Capri Sun and their water bottles to sit on their desk. So let's see how they did. Riley ate more of the orange than I thought she would. She can be pretty picky about those. So I was happy about that. She ate all of her Cheez-Its and Nuggets and Boston ate everything. So that is it for this video. I hope that it was helpful. I want to thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have an amazing rest of your week and I'll see you in the next one.